All right, welcome back to the Hard West. We are playing as Warren and it's time to invade the Cannibal Farm. I need to uh, get the series done because very, very soon the new DLC of XCOM 2 is going to be released and I feel that I want to definitely get this done because I risk maybe getting stuck with XCOM again. So. Let's get Warren to his deserved revenge. You entered the farm. The elixir trader has kept his promise. The enemy wouldn't expect trouble. So we got Brandon Scott here, our random kind of uh, hired gun. Let's give him at least some help. 35 luck. I don't know. You have a lot of luck, buddy. But your aim is terrible. I, I still think that 31, uh, 35 max luck is better. But an extra HP couldn't, uh, couldn't hurt. So we're netting 150 luck. That's fine. This guy has an okay-ish chain rifle, which is good enough. And like this, two shots per turn. <laughs> Allows two shots per turn. Okay, so it's kind of a weapon to uh, to start with, and then he's switching onto the rifle. Fair enough. Warren, on the other hand, is gonna rock his uh, cannon caldera and the revolver. We've uh, put all of the cards on uh, to the characters, so let's go. The cannibals, uh, cannibals had an old uh, man Murray. Whether he lived or not, they would die. So our job is uh, to kill the, the most enemies possible Murray and damage be, them as much as possible. Would be served for dinner by sundown. You could either kill the cannibals before he died, or free him and patch him up enough to survive the fight. Also, a part of you was curious what the fuss about human flesh was anyway. Feast on, uh, on the meat to regain strength, that's here. And where is Free Murray? Oh, got you. He's back there. All right. We're in the setup stage, which means we can freely move. Our friend Brandon Scott is going to help us. I don't expect too much trouble. We noticed that someone standing on the second floor, which means we might want to get around the other side. Just to make sure we're not being noticed. Gosh, Brandon might have stupid weapons, but he certainly knows how to dress. He's rocking that ni nice little suit. Seven turns left, and we need to get here, plus free this guy. Oh my gosh. Well, it doesn't say who needs uh, who needs to free him, right? Which means, Brendan, your job is now going to be get to this guy and free him. Whilst we... Human flesh tasted a bit like buffalo jerky. Not half bad. <laughs> Strangely. You felt empowered by this casually heinous act. But no sense letting good meat go to waste. <laughs> this game is so dark from time to, uh, from time to time. Okay, so we have five more turns. This is probably not going to um, to reveal us. So I'm taking the somewhat direct route. We're going to subdue this guy here. Hands up, buddy. Damn right. Busted. The 
woodshed smelled of garlic and rosemary. Seasoned gunslinger just got a whole new meaning. <laughs> okay, so we patched him up. Old man Murray. Indeed seems to be rather old. And since this here is the end of the map, I quite honestly feel uh, that we might want to invade the whole house. I haven't seen anyone on this side, which means we could we might as well put ourselves here in a really nice cover position. Um, could we need to get a bit closer to continue to su uh, subdue him? And maybe this position is actually better. Moving in. Continuing to confront this guy. Still thinking about what a good uh, additional position would be. Like this here is a good position to have a fire uh, into this direction. We're missing the opportunities, like, this is open, everyone in the shed could actually take shots at us. I don't like the position all too much. Maybe we're going to to reevaluate the, posi uh, the position. And maybe we're putting both of our guys, like, here. I think that's actually a better idea. All right, let's move into cover. Opening the door. And subduing this gentleman as well. So we're ready. Next turn we're going to start with the firework. Very short uh, AFK. Let's give it a go. Time to start the massacre. Our idea is to kill as many people as possible. We're going to start with old man Murray. Gosh, that's going to suck for the enemy. There we go. Combat just started. So this will only be 4 damage, might as well start with that 5 damage shot and reloading the weapon. It's not as bad, it deals 5 damage at least. So we know that there is an enemy like right here. That's fine. 
we know one of them has moved up to here that's also okay and we know that one of them is standing up here all of the positions are fine we're going to use uh, this round as a reloading round we're not exposed at any of our flanks there's another one we know that there are two enemies here the door is still closed Difficult to get uh, to get in with the right movement. Uh, next turn we might be able to just move to here and then take our shots. Still, no enemy. This guy is coughing. Taking a very solid shot to just take him out. We're slowly going to explore moving around the house and taking the flank. For now we're fine. Oh my god. Warren is wreaking havoc. So just to make sure, we're going to put ourselves into full cover. All right, Warren. What's it gonna be? Yeah, we can see two of them. Interestingly enough, both of them are out of range. Well, they're not out of range, but they are in, in a very solid cover position. So instead... Since these two are in here, it's unlikely, since we're in Shadow Melt, they are going to see us. We are just entering. Moving up. And basically standing out of line of sight. Next turn we can move up and... You know what? We could move up this turn. And since we have so many hit points, staying in full cover doesn't really bother us. We could move up to here and then take a flanking shot. Yeah, we're fine here. Oldman Murray can just take that flank. Alright, this guy really decided to get out of cover. almost killed himself there we could move up and finish him but that would expose us to this guy over here which we do not want matter of fact old man murray just keeps the flank safe well, that's his only job for him warren on the other hand is going to clean house that's three of them dead and he hasn't even started yet. This here, right there, is the advantage of staying in full cover. Hmm, 
I was sure that there would have been another one out here. Well, in which case Warren just reloads. Gosh, I can see that guy is probably running into the open. Alright, Warren takes another uh, angle. <laughs> and finishes that guy. Oh my god, the AI is so bad. Reloading uh, the pistol because the pistol deals 5 damage, he has exactly 5 health and unless his luck is too high, he's going to die with one shot. Old Man Murray still covering the flank like a, bad, uh, like a badass. And look at that, maybe Old Man Murray will get his reward after all. Your swiftness would be the tale of the country. The cannibals bit the dust. And Murray's knowledge of the masked man was yours. After the fight, you noticed a bunch of farmhands hightailing into the fields, horsebacks. You could easily um, uh, caught up with them. You chase down, uh, down and shoot every single one. That's exactly what we'd like to do. As you dashed forward, you soon had your victims within range. Through the scattered, hit and crawl, no one could ex can, uh, escape your cleansing fury. When the dust settled, you climbed the tall windmill to scout the region. You could see a bustling and living bar in the distance as well as a ghost town nearby. North of the farm, you spied a man dangling from a tree. Grateful for his rescue, Murray told you everything he knew about the masked man. Intimidation and destruction served you well. As you become more fearsome, the people interrogated seemed to know more and more. You were moving up the chain. Still, the location of the masked man hideout remained a secret. You heard the story of a demon that once walked the earth with a gang. He amassed countless riches, then retired, hoarding his wealth in his hideout, and was said he was exceptionally dangerous. But <clears throat> if you managed to kill him, all his loot was to be yours. Well... That is not a bad uh, outlook. We have an optional quest to raid the demon's hideout, which we're definitely going to do in a second. We do have 288, which is enough money to at least start. Having a bit of an ear, ne ear necklace there. And let's get some cash. Still trying to go for better weapons, which should be at the Fate Trader, if I'm not mistaken. And that guy was down here. There we go. The Udicator is pretty okay. But I personally uh, like the Cannon Cavera much better. This here is also okay. Allows two shots per turn. Actually means that you can uh, take a leading shot and then finish something uh, off with the cannon. But for now, I would say we're just going with the cannon Cadera, which is six damage. And uh, since the aim of many of our uh, friends is so bad, I was thinking about giving uh, them another Monocle, or alternatively, alternatively, we could go with the Doomsday's Watch. Which would already deplete all of our uh, resources, but that's fine for now. So, we got his aim. Well, that was pretty good, uh, pretty, pretty good. Let's give this man here a very nice uh, rifle. I like this Duster Special. Not a bad weapon, per se.
And then we have Old Man Murray, who really has a bad weapon, so I might as well give him the Douglas Duster as an additional weapon. In terms of damage, I sacrifice some aim on him, but that will uh, pump up the damage here to 5 on his normal revolver shots and 8 on the cannon, uh, cannon uh, Calvera, which is phenomenal. That's really good. Um, giving this old guy a bit more aim, it's not the worst idea. Let's go to the card section because probably we're going to take another fight relatively soon. We got ourselves uh, the Ace of Clubs. Cool, I had never had that. Oh, don't, well, uh, we had that already. Your sh uh, shots don't replenish enemy luck, plus nearby enemies lose luck all of the time. Pretty decent card. I also like the Cannibal card. Very fitting to what was just happening. It gives you plus one HP. And quite frankly, I think we're giving this to Old Man Murray. What we could do is we could use a straight, which is hit point regeneration. That's just very, very good. So we would have a luck bonus. We would have a sight bonus plus sensing nearby enemies. We can survive fatal shots and uh, regenerate, if not directly, in sunlight. That's pretty decent. Only thing uh, that we haven't done yet is the Jack of Spades. Also, your parameters when surrounded by enemies. Well, I guess that's going to be uh, your job, Brandon. We still can use a couple, of a couple of better weapons. For now, we need to stick with what we have. Let's take the demon's hideout next. Oh, you only shell? That's the next fight, guys. I'm going to end the video here and directly start the next one because we're on a roll. Let's keep this going. See you in the next episode.